this is like the time you, that you like surprise your kid that you're going to Disneyland or you're going on a trip last it's minute. This is better than Disneyland. And it's more permanent. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry, bro. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi. I'm Sid. I'm Mike. For those of y'all that have been following our channel, you know. Okay. But for those of y'all, this is your first time seeing one of our videos. We have been trying to get our 13-year-old daughter, Frankie, a horse for a couple of months now. Yeah. But we didn't have anywhere to keep it. We have a 45-acre farm in Mississippi, and the fence lines needed a lot of work before we could keep livestock here. So that's what we've been doing for the last couple of months is working on fences. We were blessed enough to have one of our longtime subscribers gift this horse to Frankie, which was amazing. So, Anthony, thank you again for allowing us to give Beulah uh, a new home where she's going to be very spoiled and very loved. No doubt. I just had to slip my muck boots on because I got a hike. They're down here working on the new set of fencing here, guys. So correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's looking like this was the last stretch as far as I knew of fencing. So like, it looks like this might get done today, which means I could get a horse for Frank. Like, Next week. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You're your two runs of barbed wire from having a horse enclosure. Nice. That's exciting. My plan is to surprise Frank one day when she gets home. So let's see if we can uh, if we can pull that off. We sit here with my friend Jen. We are taking her horse trailer and we are driving up to go get Frankie's horse, Beulah. Let's go. versus when you're driving sometimes, you know? <laughs> She's got the fancy truck. This is why we took her truck and not mine. <laughs> Jen's got the bougie truck with all the bells and whistles that basically hooks up everything for you and shows you every angle that your vehicle and trailer are at. And she's still nervous driving the trailer, but she's doing good. She's doing good. We got I'm this. Good. I got this. We got this. Can't really swing wide because there's a ditch. <laughs> ah, that's cute. <laughs> we got this. I think we're just gonna walk her out. Well, I'm not good at backing up. <laughs> okay, let us get our boots on. Let us get our boots on. <laughs> In true Mississippi fashion, it has decided to rain <laughs> today while we're getting the horse. So, uh, so there's that. It was supposed to be nice and sunny, but you know, that's how it is. Oh, good. Good looking out. There she is. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, girl. Are you ready, Cole? Hi. Hi, pumpkin. 
There we go. There we go. We're surprising her with the horse when she gets home today. Well, don't be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure how she would load up either, but that was. Me neither. We're all surprised. Yeah, that was amazing. I need to go buy a lottery ticket. Today. Right? No, no. Stay right there. You need help? Do you need me to pull a pin? Where do you want me? Can you come grab the lead oh. line that I put out the window? Yep. Got it. Hi, babies. You're okay, Beulah. I know. Come on, come on, Do you want me to pull it through this side? If you can. Yeah, hold on. There we go. There, I got her all the way up to the front nose. That's as far forward as she can go. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. That's a good girl. Good girl. All right. I got you some goodies from the farm. <laughs> and then. Oh, well, thank you. If you would like, pick out some merchandise on oh, no. Bonfire, and I will. Tell me what sizes and hats no, or whatever, good. and I will send it to you. So, we're so This is good enough. This oh, is yeah. Amazing. I'm just glad somebody's going to get her that's going to use her. She is going to be you know. so well loved and spoiled, it's going to be stupid. <laughs> well, you know what? It is, it is meant to be. She's going to have a good home. Beulah. Hi, baby. Well, I'm extremely pleased. It went better than I thought it was. She loaded up so smooth. Well, that was like up, butter. I was going to back up to the gate and just lure her in with food. But. I had a feeling that from the last time we were out here that it would be pretty simple. I thought so too, she but you never know. Easy, but Our whole day's been like that. Yeah. That's good. Oh no. So now we just got to get really good news at the vet. <laughs> we'll buy a lottery ticket. No, That's we'll right. Lottery ticket. 100%. Well, Anthony, we completely appreciate it oh, yeah. this is amazing i think this is going to be really good for beulah too, oh, I think so too. she's going to be the apple of frankie's eye and she's going to be very spoiled uh horse for sure I'm glad she's going somewhere somebody's going to use her 100 100 percent. dude she loaded up like she was a stick of butter she was like just walked right in like she does that every day that was awesome and he's been trying to get rid of beulah for a hot minute he was saying how you know he's he's glad she's going to a good home where she's going to be appreciated and get to be loved on and worked with because you know he'd been trying to sell her and then nobody wanted her and then until recently people started asking him about her and he was like oh she's kind of already taken At the stop sign Turn so to we're super appreciative to anthony for giving frankie this horse number one because that's amazing she's she's such a sweet horse i think she's going to be a really really good horse for frankie and she's such a love and we're gonna you know our animals get pretty spoiled around three mississippi so miss beulah is going to be quite spoiled and uh very well loved in 2 .3 by miles, turn right, 142 year old little girl and 113 year old little girl <laughs> Of course, this starts ringing again. It was supposed to be 
sunny and like 75 degrees today. Yeah, the crystal ball was wrong for the meteorologist this, this week, I guess. That's all right. And Beulah is riding well. She hasn't been making a fuss back there or pitching a fit. She's just, you know, she's moved around a little bit and can feel her when she's driving, but she hasn't, I mean, she's been good. And I still can't get over how well she just loaded up and did her thing. So Use the right lane to hopefully the she'll be good at the vet and we'll be in good shape. We're almost there. Neither one of us could sleep last night. We were so excited. You think it's, it's our horse. For our kid. Yeah. It's always it's for our, yeah, it's for our kids, so we're like very, because we share them. We share we share our children. Her daughter calls me other mother, and Frankie calls Jen other mother. That's the exit. That's so. We are. Because we are. It takes a village. It does. It takes a whole village. And two determined women and a truck <laughs> and a trailer to get a horse. <laughs> A horse for an appointment, Beulah for Sid Crouch. All right, we just got her checked in and we're just hooking her up and we're going to take her out to the front. This is how I die. Sorry, Beulah, did I scare you? So this is a wellness. Um, we literally just picked her up um, from the previous owner. And uh, she's, as far as we know, she's just been out to pasture for a while, so she's not up to date on anything. Okay. Um, but she's very, very sweet and mellow. Um, when we went and looked at her the first time, my daughter was able to put a saddle pad on her and get on her and whatever, but she needs up to date on everything. So I know she's had one foal in her life. Um, she's approximately 13 and uh, that's about it. That's that's about the history that he knows of her. Yeah. Yeah. Not much, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, we'll get our big door rolled up and I'll walk her inside. Bye, okay. Beulah. Be a good girl. <laughs> there she goes. She's such a good girl. It's like, it's like watching your baby go off to kindergarten. I don't know why. <laughs> I used to like, tear. She, I know I'm not crying yet, but she did so well. Like strangers and big parking lot and like all the things that she should be freaked out by right now um, are not freaking her out, which I mean, just proves to me even more that she's a perfect first horse for Frank. Um, and she didn't take any Jen's toes off. Yeah, and she didn't step on Jen. She didn't try to fight us. She didn't whatever, so. I went ahead and let Jen lead her out of the trailer and up so I could film, but I think on the way back I'll lead her into the trailer so I can practice loading her. Um, we're going to drop the trailer right now. We're going to go run some errands, hit up a tractor supply or something of the likes, and uh, get some more goodies for Beulah uh, to make her a little bit more comfortable and make us a little bit more prepared uh, for her arrival at the farm. I'm so excited. I can't wait to surprise Frankie. This is so cool. This is like this is like the time you, that you like surprise your kid that you're going to Disneyland or you're going on a trip last it's minute. Than Disneyland. This is better than Disneyland. And it's more permanent. <laughs> We 
have gone a little overboard to charge her supply. <laughs> just, a bit, just a little bit. But we got everything she needs. So Beulah wasn't supposed to be ready until about four o'clock today, but I called them. It's a little bit before one right now. I called them and I was like, hey, just checking on her to make sure everything's going smoothly and she's okay. And they were like, they're like, let me call you right back. They call me right back and they're like, actually, she's ready to be picked up. So um, we were killing time, just going through Stark Bowl, running errands, went and had a really lovely cup of coffee at, where, where, where did we go? What was it called? Strange Brew. Oh, Strange Brew. That's where we were. Quite good. Um, anyway, now we're going to pick up Beulah and uh, this is good because this means we'll get home way before she gets home from school. We can get Beulah nice and settled, unload all the stuff we bought, get everything done, and be there waiting for her when she gets off the bus. So, very excited. Although, Mike's gonna be disappointed because this means they're not going fishing tonight. <laughs> so we're back here at the vet. We just finished hooking up the trailer. We had to uh, move some things around because we, we had gotten a bunch of stuff and a this is half of the mulch we moved I moved half of it into the horse trailer but it had messed up our load so we couldn't get the jack wheel off so we had to move a bunch of stuff in order to get the the jack wheel out so that we could finish hooking up the trailer but it's done now so we're golden pony boy so this is we got the got the block got our saddle pad back there bareback pad some treats and some feed to wean her over um, we got some this is for the chickens because I was out <laughs> for their coop. Uh, got all her goodies back here. Yeah, I'm sorry, what? We did. And coffee. Beulah's big debut. That's right. She's a good girl. Everybody that believes Sid's never on me. <laughs> well, there we go. She's all loaded up. We're ready to get her home, get everything unloaded, get her settled, and surprise Frankie. But a bit surprised, or so I reckon, judging from your That are gentle 
working in a feet in the wine press build up the township opals and diamonds beauty for ashes silk in the sun down got some of the muck off of her I'll let Frankie give her a, a proper bath uh, maybe tomorrow uh, once she's kind of settled down a little bit um, showed her of course where the water trough was gave her a treat she's been eating some of the pasture here um, and she's nice and mellow right now we're hiding Jen's truck and the horse trailer behind the house Frankie is due home off the bus in about three minutes uh, Mike is down at the end of the road he threw a couple fishing poles in the back of the Polaris and he's gonna tell her we're gonna go fishing but oh I forgot something in the shop and he's gonna drive her up here and she's gonna see her surprise today. Um, so thrilled that Beulah got a clean bill of health. In fact I, that reminds me I need to text Anthony and let him know that she uh, she aced her physical. Um, she did really well on the lead walking around. Um, she's had a day this has been a lot for her and uh, you know even the vet said when he was kind of going over everything with me he was like she has the sweetest personality. She's so mellow, such a good horse. We're super blessed and she's about to be super, super spoiled. Um, so this is, this is exciting, very exciting. I can't wait to see Frankie's face. Jen and I were taking bets on whether or not she's gonna like start screaming and jumping up and down or if she's gonna burst into tears. So leave your, leave your thoughts in the comment below if you think she's going to cry with happy tears or if you think she's going to uh, just be screaming and jumping up and down excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. How do you hide a horse? I don't know. It's, it's like hiding an elephant it is. or a dinosaur. It is. Like, I'm trying to make her small right now. Okay. Yeah, there's a big fish we gotta catch, get in. With your white legs. Yeah. You want to hear about the drama at school? Oh man, your bag is heavy. Yeah. Is that any indication of how much learning you're doing? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Heavy lifting, no learning. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll go drop your bag off, and then we'll we gotta head over and catch a big fish. Where? Over there. <laughs> that gives me I went so down much and checked it out earlier, and it was giant. In the creek? No, in the pond. Oh, in our pond. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, there's a light right there. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How's that for a big fish? You look home. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry, bro. Oh my gosh. Go say hi to your horse. back from the vet 100% healthy nothing wrong with her she's now up to date on everything she had her teeth done we're having the farrier come next week um i got her feed i got her a bucket jen bought you i see that hey frankie good job on all that fence work <laughs> paid off didn't it yeah <laughs> 
Hard work always pays off. <laughs> so, Anthony said take good care of her. I know she's going to a good home. Um, and we got her a bunch of goodies. So, you're pretty set here for the first... So, wait, <laughs> hold on. So, was this whole thing about Jen's picking me up at 7.30, this was that? This was that. <laughs> yeah, I got out of bed real and, early. Yeah, the fence actually got though. finished last weekend. But, we, but you told me but that it I didn't. told Daddy to lie to you so that you wouldn't be expecting to go get the horse yet. So we could surprise you. And they weren't supposed to be back yet. Yeah. You and I were supposed to go fishing. Yeah, he was gonna keep, we weren't supposed to be leaving the vet till four, but she finished early with flying colors. So, so you owe me a fishing trip. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So. What you got to say? I, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, <laughs> I pulled up, I saw his white legs in the Polaris. So I was like, I guess we're going fishing. Weird that he's wearing shorts. And then we drove up here and now I don't know. I, I don't know. It Frankie was a, is today was officially day. speechless. I tried yeah. to hide a horse behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't see it. And you still didn't see it. And mom almost died five times. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's, a, it's been a day. But Beulah's had, she's still a little bit, um, she had a little sedation today, so she might still be so a, little a little wonky. And we got to keep an eye on her injection sites from her vaccines mm -hmm. um, on each side of her neck. But other than that... She's, the vet said her weight was good. I took her around the perimeter. I, she, I introduced her to the goats and pups via the fence. She's not sure how she feels about them yet. And Bunko and her are leery of each other. Ah, well, but, uh, that's to be expected. <laughs> but uh, other than that, here, you want to take your, take your pony? I brushed her and put fly spray on her. But she's still, I mean, this is me from petting her. She's yeah, she's filthy. Yeah, so. I'll, Do you need to give her a bath? Yeah, yeah I'll give her a bath. Got some treats. Um, she's got a feed bucket. She's got a uh, couple other surprises. A couple of surprises, yeah. Did get you did get you one big surprise. Frankie hasn't taken her phone out of her pocket in five minutes. I, c That's I, a record. I don't even know. <laughs> just buy just buy her a pony and then guess what? It's all I fixed. I yeah. I told the lady at the vet's office, I was like, this horse is the cheapest chastity belt. It's gonna keep her away from boys. <laughs> I don't know keep about her that out one. <laughs> I don't know if it'll keep me away from boys. <laughs> this is so crazy. No, like, I don't even know. Like, I'm gonna be completely off, like, whoa. Well, you've been knowing you were gonna get a horse. Did you think it was never gonna happen? Partially, yes, because the last time I talked to Jen, we were looking at it realistically and we were gonna- I be told you. You did tell me. <laughs> Jen even told me in the, in the car today, she's like, yeah, I talked it up big the other day. Like, it was going to be another two months before yeah. uh, the fence was finished. She believed me. And, and I did, because yeah. I, I I believe it. It makes sense. Well, now you're officially a crazy horse girl. Yay! I had the crazy part down already. <laughs> then I got some little braids, like the the yeah. uh, Wizard of Oz, Pippi Longstock, and, and we got you, you we got you those little rubber bands so you can braid her stuff if you want. I can learn how to braid. I know how to braid, but like I, I can do better. I think it's cool that she's wearing a Mississippi State shirt because that's where your horse has been all day. That's true. <laughs> she, has, <laughs> she has been. Oh, and uh, we got a tour of the campus today because I'm gonna get one next Thursday. Oh, I have the form by the way. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, Beulah got to go on a tour. Beulah got went on. We had a parade for Beulah because Jen took the wrong turn, so we went all through the campus's parking lots. <laughs> for a while until we found the road again. Was this a good surprise? Yes. Were you surprised? Yes, this is better than Christmas. This is better than the Zach Bryan tickets. Uh, I'm sorry, Zach Bryan, but <laughs> this is better than the Zach Bryan tickets. So do mommy and daddy get mommy and daddy of the year and other mother gets other mother of the year? Yes, for pulling 100%. All this off? Okay. She took your boots? No, she bought a pair. Oh, did she really? She went and got herself a pair of the short high C ones like I have too. Of her life. I switched to my tall ones before I came out here, but. I did. Heartless like that. But guys, we did it. We brought Beulah home. We surprised her. Those of you that left a message in the comments saying she was going to cry, you win. <laughs> we both cried. Yeah. Uh, and man, what a journey it's been, you know? And Anthony, a huge thank you to uh, one of our longtime viewers, Anthony, for giving us Beulah. Um, yes. Amazing. I can promise you she's going to have a really good home. Lots of love. Be very spoiled. And uh, thanks for coming along with us today on this journey of uh, getting Frankie's first horse for her. So we appreciate you guys. And as always, stay blessed and safety's off. Go Beulah! <laughs>
<laughs> so a couple little things that we picked up for you today. Go ahead. She's got oh, a mineral block yeah, yeah, yeah. just because we weren't sure her conditioning and whatever. So, and then a, another feed bucket for, for just in case mask, and a yeah. fly mask. And this Great is, it. that's yeah. And then there's a, a, a shoe pick in there, horse pick. And then the, that's to tire too. We'll have daddy attach oh. that or you can attach it to a post. Yeah. The fly mask is from Jen. And so is the horse pick. Obviously, your lead line and the halter is from. At least Jen's idea. Was Jen? That oh, that's from Jen. It. But this is from Daddy and I. <laughs> so Jen has a few saddles with her, and we can see if one of them fits, so that you know what size saddle we now need to buy. Mm -hmm. And then also, if one of them fits. We'll borrow it for a little while and trade it for some tractor time. Funko, what do you think? <laughs> All right, do we like Beulah? Yeah, you've been checking Beulah out. He's just over here watching her. I'm catching grasshoppers. Beulah, you still have food in your mouth. She's drooling. You're, you're stoned and drooling right now. There we go, we remembered to chew. Good job, okay, good job. Go team, all right. Woo. She's over here seeing sounds and tasting colors and just living her best life. Yeah.